Behold the mightiest gods of Olympus. Choose wisely, for the path you take will be the first important step in your quest. Only the elite few will ascend as a champion of the gods. The son of Zeus. Ares was brought into a world forged from violence. This brutally sculpted him into the ultimate warrior and sealed his legacy as a savage and destructive force. Ares, the god of war. Burning with rage, Ares warriors utilize fire to strengthen their physical attacks and set their enemies ablaze. Gaining life with every encounter, the skills and power of his champions grow with each assault. Although the defense of the warriors pledged to Ares may lack prowess, their unforgiving offensive attacks make up for any weakness. Ares' relentless firepower sets him apart from all others and confirms his namesake as the God of War. The world's most powerful force. The oceans do as they please, take what they want, and answer to no one but their ruler. Poseidon, God of the Sea. The advantages bestowed on warriors pledged to Poseidon stem from his strong defensive base. Their ability to absorb massive amounts of damage allows them to outlast their opponents in battle. Warriors of Poseidon's offensive strikes are punishing and relentless. Using the power of ice, these champions render their enemies helpless by slowing or freezing them in their tracks. Adding to their defensive strength, Many of these abilities regenerate the health of the warrior and his teammates. A strong defense matched with paralyzing offensive strikes make Poseidon a god to be reckoned with. Ruler of the dead, he stalks the pits of Tartarus eyeing the souls of the living from below. Brother to Poseidon and Zeus, he boils beneath guarding what is his, Hades, god of the underworld. Draining the souls of his enemies to absorb their life essence, warriors of Hades use the souls of the dead to corrupt their environment and gain power from nearby deaths. Using stealth to their advantage, the warriors of Hades lurk in the shadows, setting traps for unsuspecting victims. The curses they cast manipulate and destroy their enemies. Hades' shadowy warriors utilize powerful offensive attacks and elusive stealth to quench their undying thirst for living souls. King of the Gods and Ruler of Olympus, Zeus reigns over the sky and earth. But be warned, every king has powerful enemies. Warriors who harness the power of Zeus can unleash devastating attacks, scorching the earth with lightning or launching precise bolts from afar. Zeus's warriors are a threat to all. Through success in battle, his champions can regenerate magic and increase godly powers for themselves and their team. His dominance and mastery of the Thunderbolt assure Zeus his reign over Olympus.
in the time before the Titans, before the gods of Olympus, a great battle was waged. The wrath of the primordials. The very beings who forged the Earth. Raged out of control for an eternity. And from this rage, this madness of war, the Furies were brought forth. Neither Titan nor God, mortal nor shade, the Furies were bound to no one. For they were the guardians of honor, the enforcers of punishment, the bane of traitors. When Zeus came to power, he found he had little to fear from the sisters. The Furies sought retribution only for those whom they deemed guilty. The first of these traitors was Aegean the Hecatonchores. When the brute pledged a blood oath to Zeus, only to later betray the king of the gods, the Furies were quick to take action. The sisters relentlessly hunted the Aegean, and upon capturing the creature, tortured him without mercy. For the Furies believed death was too kind for this oathbreaker. The Aegean the Hecatonchores became an example to all. A special symbol for those who might think to break a blood oath with a god. Many know the legend of Kratos, the mortal turned god who brought down the very walls of Olympus. But there was a time before Kratos became the monster known as the ghost of Sparta. A time when something other than rage consumed him. A time when in spite of the madness that plagued him, Kratos would break his blood oath to an unjust god. He would no longer be bound in blood. Kratos, the great Spartan general, was finally defeated. Driven mad, tortured and uncertain of his surroundings, the warrior found himself captured like a fly in the web of the fuels. Never, never again. What's wrong? You seem confused, Kratos. Having trouble remembering our special time together? Then again, we were rudely interrupted. <laughs> 
by my sister. The lecture was never won for manners. <laughs> I am quite skilled at teaching RESPECT! For what you've taken, I owe you that. How we treat oathbreakers here! to meet your death. We will see how you fare against the Hecatonkeries.